Dan, maybe Fred, maybe Seth, maybe myself. Those who are leaders, we should already know this. That's how we can have peace. Why? Because we believe that follows Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior. We should all be already taking the Lord's Supper. We eat what's for the bread to represent Jesus' body, to remember what he's done. He's done for us. He took our place, and he died on the cross for us. His blood, as we drink it, forgive all of our sins, means that we all should already take the Lord's Supper, and we should not forget Jesus himself. It is very important that we all do it. Why? Because we are Christians, and we take the Lord's Supper every first day of the week, every Sunday. When it's time, God decides, goodbye world. He will take all Christians, those who have already died, first. Then, those who are still alive, second. To a better place up there. So that we all must not forget. We should not be afraid. Paranoid. What? what? Oh, there's something on the TV. Newspaper. I don't care. <coughs> We should have faith in Christ all the time. And do not let go. When we hold on, and if you don't hold on two hands, you have two hands, guess what? Bye-bye. Only one hand, and you trust in God with all of your faith. Don't, oh, I have a small faith. No, be brave and hold on to him. He already knows who are good Christians. Those who are weak Christians, it's up to God to forgive them or not. I'm not the judge, but God is the judge. He should be the one. The judge, you need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of your family. You need to take care of your friends. You need to take care of the church. How? Simply by following and listening to God's word. And follow him every day. And your faith will keep stronger. <laughs> you know, a oh, wonderful, cute little story. You're a funny creature. You think I'm not serious? Oh, <coughs> it's up to him. He will judge you. <laughs> to close out, in the beginning of today's lesson, we listen and learn about praying for our family and our friends. We also learn that it's important that we Christians pray for all people, even though we are aware that some people do not believe in God. So, we Christians just continue to pray and hope that people who do not believe in God will change their heart and they will believe and obey God, Son, Jesus. In addition, we Christians should thank God for our family and friends and that we will all love and trust Him through His Son, Jesus. Wow. Now, we will have our song.